All praise to the creator, peace and love, everybody. So before I start this quick news broadcast and update, let's give the creator some praise. some propaganda going on. We got an FBI agent caught as well going on. And we got uh, it seems which I was right that nobody would win this war when it all came down to the needy greed because everybody got nukes. Everybody will push those buttons and nukes will fly. And even Putin has admitted this. So with that said, we're gonna get straight to the news. Now I wanna show you something I think that may be a good idea to invest in for like EMPs and stuff like that, bombs, so that you don't have to worry about the electrical grid going out in case of a situation such as so. So, let's get ready here. I right, we get straight to it. So we're gonna do this one first. Hey Albuquerque, do you ever feel alone or just like you need a little bit of help? Well, Hi guys, what's going on? My name is Luis. Today is February 8, 2022, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. Before I start, guys, give this video a big thumbs up and share this video. We got some breaking news updates when it comes to rumors of wars. Now it says here, the bear deploys nuclear Kinzhal missiles on fighter jets to Kaliningrad. Now, I truly apologize if I say the name wrong, guys. I truly apologize. All right, so this is some real serious stuff here, guys. Uh, nuclear stuff is coming out once again. It's like the place is packed with nukes, and you guys know the Sleeping Giant uh, has introduced certain option to uh, Mr. Burns, and one of those options are nuclear stuff too. So it seems like so many lands are so many nations are coming out with this stuff so let's see what's going on in this one here uh i know the bear leader has made this move after the the meeting again very disturbing message that he put out there saying that nobody's gonna win it there's uh, there will be no victor no victory everybody will lose and some silly stuff we don't want to hear those type of uh, uh, um, messages and stuff so after a very tense and by most accounts failed meeting between macaroni and again the bear leader uh the bear began deploying mig 31k fighter jets armed with nuclear kanzal missiles again which the sleeping giant calls it the dagger or the dragger or something like that those planes and those missiles are not routinely stationed there. All right, before I start, guys, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, and some loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link so in the pay, uh, pay United States and Putin, the bear, 
and the Dragon admitted that nobody would win this war to the point that they actually tried to have a talk to try to smooth things over, but the talk went very badly, very badly. So everybody's still watching toward the beating of general war, although all parties have now admitted that nobody would win it, it'd be impossible, anybody would lose. Remind me of the scripture that is also in your King James book and the Samola books that his way destroys himself, that the crater wouldn't have to do anything. And I actually heard some people talk that the ancestors are saying that when they fall, we're not even gonna have to do nothing but put them out of their misery. Now that's gonna be crazy if that does happen. Let's go to this right here. The drumbeats of war are getting louder. Things may be calm in Ukraine right now, but the country is surrounded by troops and military exercises. American troops are settling into Poland. Their Humvees and weapons have arrived. The NATO is looking to make it permanent. NATO Secretary General says the alliance is considering long-term deployments. In other words, this means more NATO presence in Eastern Europe. We are uh, uh, considering uh, uh, more uh, longer-term adjustment to our uh, posture, our presence in the eastern part of the lines. Uh, no final decision has been made on that. So they sent more weapons, more Humvees as well, and more UN troops and United States soldiers, or I say United Snakes soldiers, and everybody's still walking towards the beating drum, while admitting that they're, what they're going to have is pointless because they're all going to lose which means that we're going back on top. Of course, it can get uglier before it gets better. And also, you got FBI agents trying to get people to go the rowdy way so that they can call uh, troops in on people, you know, for protesting for what's right. And so what these FBI agents is trying to do is trying to get the folks to be violent and they're having a peaceful protest. Let's look at this person's face who got caught who's the FBI snake. Whoop is going down. This is resistance pretty much everywhere. We want to talk about the ins and outs. We're not just going to be gloating in what's happening. We're going to gloat in what's going to be happening in the bad form, in a good form. But, however, we're also going to gloat in the fact that a huge setup was set to come. And uh, we're going to talk about what the feds have been caught doing. And so a lot, not a lot of people are talking about this, but we're finna get into that here live today on JW TV. Thanks for tuning in. Freedom protest closes bridge from Detroit to Canada. So yes, in Michigan, is getting closed, and that's pretty much a trade route. Which yes, that's gonna affect the supply chain. So that's why I was telling people you need to be ready for that and get everything you need to get. The truckers run this country, let's be honest. They run the countries more than really the military. I mean, the military does. I ain't going to say they don't. But I'm saying, like, when it comes down to food supply and everything else, they run it pretty much. And I appreciate everything that they're doing. However, we're going to get into all the other informational piece and aspects that's going on, not just here in Canada, not just in Canada, not just in America, not just in different parts of the world, but it's really been a big pushback. Protesters prevented motors from passing over the bridge and eventually closed the span, according to a report by Detroit Free Press. Michigan Department of Transportation reportedly advised motorists to use a tunnel or make an alternate bridge to Canada instead. So that's currently going on. If you look at all the news articles, you can see what's happening there. And it's also spread in New Zealand, where they're doing that. They're blocking the streets of Parliament. Actually, it was a video out where they were going after one of the people at Parliament and actually the police had to arrest one of them because, you know, they were chasing them down and they try to grab them and then the police comes in because people are getting that upset. A convoy of cars, camper vans, 2,000 protesters blocked the streets around New Zealand. It probably was more than 2,000. These numbers are being downplayed and it shows that the world does not want to comply with this situational aspect of what they want us to comply with. So, daily lives have been changed because of this moment that we're dealing with. But yet, here is the Canadian president running his mouth in a second. 
We're going to show uh, him on Twitter what he's saying. So New Zealand has got up and actually pushed back. And even the pro VAX people is out there pushing back because they want people to have a choice. So this is not about just one group of people. This is about everybody putting putting all their bull crap aside and saying, hey, we need freedom of choice in society. That's what we need. We shouldn't be bickering to each other about how much we hate each other or some differences we have. This is what it all comes down to. If we can't put down the common bull crap aside, so remember, we have to unite to keep freedom, then it's our fault when we lose freedom. So yes, the people on the mainstream, all this stuff is going to keep pushing their narrative, but that's why we exist here on independent media, so we can try to make change and see the different side of the narrative. So what is the different side of the narrative? If you're just tuning in, we're going to show you that in a second that I don't think it's been shown anywhere. It may have been, but... We're going to get to the video in a second, exposing the feds. But Canadians have the right to protest. Here's uh, Trudeau, who went to hide. Oh, my God. He's relocate, man. I got to get away. There are a lot of truckers. Oh, my God. Anyway, Canadians have the right <laughs> I'm sorry. He makes me laugh. Sometimes. I've observed. My anyway, Canadians have the right to protest, to disagree <laughs> with their government and to make their voices heard, we'll always protect that right. But let's be clear, they don't have the right to blockade our economy or democracy or our fellow citizens' daily lives. It has to stop. And, and you know what I thought in my head? I was like, well, you know, you, you're blockading their economy. If people can't go in stores and you know, buy stuff or they can't do something because of their status of they whatever they took. And then I looked down in the comments, somebody says, then why can't you disrupt and roadblock our daily lives, question mark. So again, it says, are you comparing the disruption of protests to wearing the mask at the grocery store, question mark? So again, that's disrupting the daily lives of people. And so here's something you need to see right here. I'm going to take me off the screen for this. Uh, this is important. So share this all out, everybody. Remember how they were setting up everybody in the U.S.? Canadian feds trying to stage the same thing they try to do here in America. Uh, we're about to go ahead and show you this video clip here. So I'm going to give you audio on this. Make sure you get this one out. Oh, hey, yo, did I talk to you yesterday? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you want to say something again? What else am I going to say? We're expecting, uh, we just caught a narc. Yeah. Or a fed. He was, uh, trying to get us to overrun the parliament. Really? Yeah. So we told him to fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, and we... Get um, him on camera. Huh? Get him on camera. We did. We got, yeah. we got a picture of him. You want to so. show him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> show the whole world what he looks like. Yeah, we got people watching, man. Take a look at these trucks, guys. Love it, man. All righty. Are, are some of them here in Ottawa? Yeah. All right, boys, this is the guy that you guys have to watch out for. He's a fucking fed. Hold on, let me get the zoom. There you go, know, guys. He'll try to get you guys to fucking overrun the government and shit and blah, blah. He'll try and say anything that he can. He has a fucking microphone and a scarf that I've seen. Uh -huh. Watch yourself. He's trying to trap you. Exactly. Uh -huh. He's working with him. We tried to report it to the cops, and the cops didn't even get our information. Nothing. They said, okay, no problem. That was going to picture that was it. So, careful. Hey, don't hurt him, but be beware, oh, guys. Be beware. Listen. For all those guys who are thinking we should be doing something worse than just sitting around, let me explain something to you. The reason why we're taking shit slow and the reason why we're doing everything in, in peace is to show the whole world how corrupt this government really is. Yeah. They tried to fuck us with the news, didn't succeed. They tried to fuck us with the feds, didn't succeed. The more and more time goes on, the more and more they're digging their own fucking ground and digging their own ground. Yeah. So... So far, everybody saw that this place was peaceful. It's going to continue to be peaceful. Yeah. The reason why is because these guys are going to keep trying to do some dumb shit, and the whole world's going to see how fucking corrupt these guys really are. Yeah. So. Amen, that's, man. That's what we're trying to stop. God bless. God bless. All right. So that's what's going on, man. They, they're exposing them, and that's just what you have to do here in this scenario. So the, they're pretty much catching them uh, in these uh, pretty much looming scenarios where they're trying to pretend... That, oh, yeah, well, you know, hey, you know, it's going to be some people setting fire some apartments and stuff. So that was, that was one of the common things that uh, I told you I was seeing. And right. so it's being exposed. So they basically want you to act violent, do things you're not supposed to do so that they can call in the government and basically give the mayor the 
that, oh yeah, the people are violent, people did this, people did that, which we all know is a bunch of malarkey, because all they're trying to do is trick, and, uh, trick people, uh, the world, and they can't get the people to act up. So anytime they push and say, oh, these guys are unlawful, the drivers are unlawful, truckers are unlawful, their protests are unlawful, and it didn't work, then the feds try to come in. They couldn't do what they wanted to, so it still didn't work because everybody stayed peaceful. So the feds and certain people they called in had to just leave. So they couldn't get the cops to arrest anybody. Even the cops had to leave because it was just peaceful. They need you to act out. So now that they couldn't get nobody to act out, you know, and said all stuff on the news, they're sending reptilian shape-shifting demons that, that look like some of you people, and they sit up there and, and try to get you to go against, to, we are going against our government, but we're not gonna do it the wrong way unless we must have to. But for right now, everybody should simply just uh, do it peacefully, just like, the, um, I'm not saying don't have any weapons, I'm just saying don't use the weapons at the moment, okay? Because right now, it's not called for at the moment. What you want to do is peaceful protest, and every time they dig a grave and say something stupid like they've been, just show them evil out by being peaceful and protesting and unite, come together. This way, no matter crazy creed of color, they're not successful and what they want. Now these demons are gonna fall, but they want humans or humanity and light beings to fall with them. So it's up for y'all to not fall for the hijack, not fall for the trick, and if a reptilian shapes and demon who may look like one of you comes to you and try to say, hey, y'all should just go ahead and run up in the freaking camp Canadian house or whatever house right now and just throw a bomb or do some crazy stuff. Um, don't listen to them, in fact, expose them because reptilians are not getting what they want. Reptilians can feel the grip of control slipping on them and that's why they're also acting out. Now in case these reptilians, because one thing they may get is get the war they want, which is only going to hurt them and the people they have control of because all the leaders, nine times out of ten, are reptilian demi-demons, right? So if they do go at this, because they figure if there's no electricity and uh, people are panicking because of no food, then folks will go ahead and bow down to the altar of you know what. But that is not the case. So what we're gonna do right here, I'm gonna show you something that Brother Bless all sent me. Um, he sent this to me, I think it's a good idea. This will stop an EMP from messing up your electricity in your house or off grid. This should even work. It should even work for solar panels if you know how to rig it right. So it says right here, EMP shield home protection. You can shield your home from EMPs. You can shield your your uh, your, your solar panels from EMPs as well. Um, need help? Okay, choosing your home model EMP shield. Okay, select the image of the bunker box you have in your home. So you do that. This thing here is EMP proof. It attaches to that and it stops anything for that happen. It was $409, now it is $389. That's what you're getting paid for this advertising, okay? So a bigger, which were 419, the bigger ones, but you can get that for 399, okay? And add it to your cart. I suggest that if you want any of this stuff, and you're going off grid, which you really should do, or if you're really gonna sell one at your home, you should still have this. Um, although being in the city still may not be safe, but being in the wilderness will be safe and you should have this with you in the wilderness. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save and keep this at the bottom for two, two or three days. If anybody gets in touch with me on the video and says, hey, I wanna get that. And if I have your number or if you need a phone number, I will go ahead and I will send this to you through your text so that you can go ahead and get the shopping on it. Peace and love.